gentlemen, friends and family, we gather here today to celebrate the life of Jonathan Till, who has now returned to his home with our Lord, the Father. So if you please, let's bow our heads and pray. O oh Lord, we humbly entrust our brothers and sisters. In this life, you embrace them with your tender love. Deliver them now oh, from any... Oh. Oh. Sorry, mate. No, no. Uh, Deliver them now from any evil. It's the sound of a preacher, man. Around here. Can I have my go now? Come on. It's the preacher. Oh, thanks everyone for coming. I hope my funeral's this, this packed. <laughs> uh, I, got, I got a few words that I wrote about, about my dad. Uh, let me just get them out. Oh, I wrote them in the car. Right here. Uh, uh, it, it fills me with joy that you all thought my dad has salted the earth. Oh, that's boring. Um, um, what about this one then? So it goes, uh, it's not about who knew him, it's about who didn't know him. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense. There'd be a lot to miss about my dad. The old bastard. <laughs> Put your face back in, Carly. Oh, Two seconds, guys. I only said bastard. It is a word, it's in the dictionary. So look it up. Go sit down, you fat bastard. I'll tell you a story, actually. I'll tell you a story about my dad, my, my old man. Because yeah. when we used to go to the football, when we used to go to the football, he yeah, was a really good guy. Because he always used to cover my ears. He'd always cover my ears when all the, all the fans were saying black this and black that, shouting all the coloured players. <laughs> He'd cover my ears, but he wouldn't stop him, stop him from saying, oh, what's the, what's the sign of that? What's the point in this? And I'll say, well, if you didn't like it so much, why don't you tell your mates to stop letting them cover my bleeding ears? Sit down, Polly! What's the matter with you, eh? You made me lose my train of thought. Or is it chain? <laughs> anyway, oh, oh, where was I? Oh, my dad, my dad, the proper, yeah, because he, he would he would live for the city and he would live he would live for the World Cup and the Euros and all that because because we're English, aren't we? We're English because we we invented it, yeah, because it belong because it belongs to us and all that shit. I like I like dogs. Like dogs, we lick it up, we lick it clean, but let me tell you something. We are shit. <laughs> We're shit at everything. Well, let, let, me, let me tell you something. Like, Harry Kane misses the penalty, he's a bloody hero. But Saka misses it and he's a monkey. What's the fucking plan about that, eh? Don't look at me like that. I'm just telling the truth here. Because, because it's not about... It's not about what you know about my dad, it's about what you didn't know about him, you see? Yeah? And, well, he, he, let me tell you something, let me tell you something, yeah? It's, it's not, it, 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 I'll tell you, he didn't just eat all of you lot. But it was all of you lot he ate, it. yeah, it was all of you, every single fucking one of you. I'll tell you the truth right now, all right? Well, take Carly, take Carly, my, my, my sister, his daughter. It killed him to see you on benefit. <laughs> Dropping your knickers at the first sign of black cock is worse, not mine. And, oh, oh, Andy, a first white boyfriend. Oh, am I supposed to be hard? Are you supposed to be hard, are you? Blames immigration for everything. Blames the foreign players for ruining the game. Ruining it, Andy! Well, if the English players weren't so shit, the foreign players would have to come over here. We've been shit since 66! <laughs> Who do you think? Who do you think, Andy, built your house 14 hours a day on minimum wage? English? Are you having a fucking laugh? They can't even fill the fucking potholes out here! They don't build your fucking house! Oh. Right, Del? That's, that's my best mate, Del. I've known Del since. Uh, oh, Del, let me tell him the story. Oh, it's a funny one. It'll make you all laugh, honestly. So, Del's parents, yeah, they come from Jamaica. 
She's only gone and voted fucking Brexit. <laughs> She's a leaver. Should I tell them, guys? Should I tell them? When they're saying they want to curb on immigration, who do you think they're talking about? Yeah? Because I love you like a sister, but you may talk like us. You may act like us, but you'll never be one of us. And all the banana throwing might be a bit less regular, but the anger... The anger is still there. It's making a... No! 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 These are, these are Dad's words, not my... What? Dad... Dad... I don't even fucking know anymore, is it? Wow. Starts to mean to go on, I guess. Yeah, there's my other sister, Lisa. You're right, Lisa, you fucking slag. And uh, ever so friendly, yet so patronising it hurts liberal lefty uni mates. Who think they're so down with us? Who think they know us? That they care less about us than what the Tories do. Yeah? Yeah? The liberals who think a, a, a cockney accent is verbal suicide. Who thinks a council flat is destitution? Whose biggest marker of success is how far they can live from us? Let me tell you one more thing. It wasn't just you lot Dad ate it. Dad ate it himself. Because he was always moaning, always fucking complaining. What do you call it? But you never got off your ass and did anything about it. You never marched for anyone or anything. You can, you can cover me as on the terrace. But you never tell your mates to stop. Why you never tell them to stop, man? <laughs> oh, I know better. Don't think I'm better. Dad hated me because I was gutless. Oh, I'm gutless because I'd rather have 12 points and stand for something. And he wanted me to stand for something. And he wanted me to be better than him. But how? How the hell was I supposed to do that, Dad? Yeah? You're the role model. I'm going to take after you. They don't want to know what we say. They want to know what we do. So we fucking, we fucking fight. Fucking smashing people up, fucking clarets everywhere. Cause, cause when it comes to blaming people who aren't English for our problems, we're world fucking champions. <laughs> and, and Carly, Carly, these are my words now. Yeah, not your dad. You better be fucking listening. But don't you worry, guys. Don't you fret. Come tomorrow, I won't remember a thing about this. <laughs> None of us will. None of us will. No, cause. I'm just another stupid, drunk Englishman. Who cares what the likes of me thinks, eh? Well, in that case, we might as well have a fight. <laughs> it's the English thing to do, isn't it? Well, fucking come on then, you cunt. I'll take every single fucking one of you. Come here, get here, fuck you. <laughs>